We've all misplaced our car keys or we've forgotten someone's name. Lord knows I do it. Uh, but are those momentary brain freezes a sign that true memory loss is going to follow? Christine Nelson's here with a memorable answer to our question and advice on what to do if we forget it. Christine is a geriatric clinical nurse specialist at Lakewood Hospital. Thanks for joining us today. Thank you for having me. And so, you know, there's the senior moments mm -hmm. and then there's more serious you know, right. is a senior moment the, the beginning of dementia? Um, not necessarily. Uh, as we age, um, it may be considered normal to have the occasional <coughs> lapse in memory, forgetting where we've placed our car keys or wallet, uh, forgetting, you know, rarely forgetting that, uh, that appointment, uh, misplacing things, not coming up with the name or the word right when you want it. Uh, but when there are, you know, uh, is it, when there's a regular pattern to changes in memory, forgetting things, repeating, not following conversations, and again, there's a pattern, we should be concerned about that. Should we all expect at some point to lose our memory? Uh, the short answer is, is no. Um, as we age, it is not normal to have any, anything beyond mild memory changes. Significant memory loss is not a normal part of aging. Uh, of course, when we think about memory loss, I'm sure our viewing audience thinks about Alzheimer's disease. Um, certainly not a, not a normal part of aging. It's, um, this condition is on the rise. It is a disease of old age, and we are living longer, so we are seeing more, more Alzheimer's disease. But in the end, we shouldn't equate memory loss with Alzheimer's disease, nor should we assume that it's a normal part of aging. All right, so, you know, we're seeing some changes. Maybe we're concerned that maybe we're seeing some serious changes, yes. either in ourself or in a spouse or a loved one. That's right. What do we do? What's the first step? Uh, well, the first step is to, is to um, try to figure out what is going on. And, and maybe the first step is a geriatric assessment. Lakewood Hospital has a program called the Senior Care Assessment. Um, we're the most comprehensive program on, on the Cleveland's uh, west side. Now, having said that, it's also important to talk with one's doctor. I mean, people have a relationship with their doctor, and that's, that's very important. Uh, most of our referrals do come from the primary care physician because over 20 years of providing the service, physicians come to rely on us to, to meet the needs and these specialized needs of the older adult and some of the time-consuming uh, needs. But you don't have to have a doctor referral. You can you go do, directly correct. to the geriatric Thank you. You, you can, you know, anybody can call and, and make the referral directly. What happens in a geriatric assessment? Tell us what it's like. Yes. Um, a geriatric assessment refers to a more holistic, comprehensive assessment of an older person. Um, and, and always evaluating cognitive abilities. And what does that mean? That, that's memory, thinking, judgment, reasoning, language abilities, which we can test out during, during the process. We assess for mood changes, depression. We complete a medication review, a physical exam. And, and because with memory loss and dementia, uh, safety concerns become, you know, uh, become a concern, we want to know, can a person be uh, still living alone, driving, taking their medications, and so forth. You ask a series of questions. Are they verbal? Are they in writing? Um, actually, it's a little bit of both. Um, when, uh, when the patient comes in, they, uh, the patient meets with the nurse and then the physician while the family talks with the social worker. But our, our assessment involves interview questions, some paper and pencil testing to complete the, the assessment further. And I think what makes our program unique at Lakewood Hospital is, is the time that we take to meet with the patient and the family to understand the needs and begin to address those needs over time. Once someone completes the assessment, then what's the next step, especially if you find that there is a problem? Mm -hmm. Well, of course, once we've met, met with somebody, we would like to see them, them over time uh, and provide our specialized geriatric care to uh, the patient and the family. Uh, we are in no way replacing the primary care physician's role. We really see ourselves complementing uh, the physician's uh, role, and they really have, again, they, they want us to monitor those, those changes over time. Um, ultimately, the, the, the goal of the assessment is to understand um, the memory changes, um, make a diagnosis of dementia if that's appropriate, begin treatment, and then work with the family and the patient over time to um, you know, monitor some of the changes that may emerge from, from uh, the dementia. Well, the geriatric assessment that you've talked about is just so important, and I appreciate your putting people at ease a little bit because these are not... Uh, intended to be difficult, uh, you know, any way humiliating. These That's are designed right. to help. That's and, right. That's right. And they do. Thank yes, you so yes, much. Thank you. That was a lot of information that we have to remember. If you forgot any of Chris's information, don't worry. You can call the number that's coming up next for more help, more information. Just remember to write it down. My thanks to Chris for joining us today. To learn more, call Lakewood Hospital Senior Care Assessment Center at 216-521-2228. Next, we've booked the library.